So this is the homepage of Easy Speak. So it's easy-speak.org. This is the one that my club uses. I'm from Speak with Style and Eloquencia. And so what I'm going to be showing you is the first will be the, I guess you can call it the admin interface or the officer interface that you will see. So it's, it's pretty easy to log on once you have uh, something there. There's always the same thing. And if you forget your password, you click on the I forget my password link. Or if you want to create an account. Yes, if you want to create an account. All right. When you log in, you have a home page. You can customize that how you want. I won't go into the details on how to do it, but I'm just showing you that's what you see when you log in. You can see your future meetings. And you can see the clubs that you are associated with. So here I am with my two clubs. So what I'm going to go to is go to our next meeting here in Speak With Style, which is on Wednesday, February 24th. So as uh, an administrator or the VP education, this is what you will see. OK, you see all the members listed there, whether or not they've signed up to say, hey, I'm coming to the meeting, and then you'll see all the roles that are here. So what, what is the good thing about uh, in these meetings? You can put the meeting theme ahead of time. You can put in the online link. They have here where you can put in the online link. You can put in the word of the day. You can have Easy Speak do that for you, or like you can look for one, or you can just type in one. In our club, we put in a word of the day that goes with the meeting theme. So the meeting theme is you learn more from failure than from success. So is it easy speak just a Toastmasters platform? From what I know, as opposed to? Like as opposed to using for a club outside of Toastmasters. Let's say I have a book club. Could I use Easy Speak for that? I think it's only for Toastmasters. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And so it's a good way to know are people signing up to the meeting, like confirming their attendance, and they can also see the availability roles. Like right now, what I mentioned, we are looking at this as an officer. I am a, the what am I here? I'm an SAA in Speak with Style, so I get to see a certain. Uh, view, but if I go to profile and look as a club member, this is what I would see here. So I can sign up and be the general evaluator if I wanted to. Now the other thing is here. So if I go to, I'm still under uh, a member view and I look up sign up for meetings. So I will see here now, let me just put you guys over here, meetings in the future, the ones that's upcoming and then the ones in the future. And then I can sign them up one after the other. So here, February 24th, I'm a speaker. I think I'm going to be a GE here. And then I'll also be a uh, moment of humor. And I'll put myself as the table topics master here. Hope it worked. Perfect. Does anybody have any questions in regards to the meetings? So you can also see all the meetings that are set up. Can you change the agenda? As a regular member, no. But as a VP Ed or an admin, yes. Okay. We are going to be covering that also here. <clears throat> so here, these are all the, the meetings that were set up for my club. If, you, if you're a person who wants to see it like in a list style, 
and you also see the, the meeting themes and the words of the day that was already there. And you can see all the statistics of who attended, how many speakers. And then you can also see the, you know, who, who had the major roles in that meeting. Just gonna go back to the officer view. Can you go back and edit historically? Like for instance, if we started for our club now, but wanted to enter from January to now, could um, we do that? You can do that with speeches and users, but I don't think you can do that with meetings. Okay. I'm not really sure. I've not, I, from when I, when I joined, because our club obviously was existing before 2011. So when they started using this in 2011, I don't think they put in 2010 information. But for individual users and their speeches, yes, you can import them from before so that you have a record of them. So I was about to go into that. As a VP education, you have this menu here, scheduling in VP tasks. So this is where you can schedule speeches. So either the users can request a speech or you can do it for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so you can hear these, if there were other people, you can see these are the requested speeches. And here, if you click on this guy, you can add a person to be, to have a speech. I'll just put this, Adam. So here you have the schedule the speeches. So they can choose, you can choose different days, a workbook speech. So they've added before that, they didn't have pathways, but now pathways is in there. So you have all the pathway paths. You also have the older manuals. The legacy education program is in there still. So for example, in my club in Speak With Style, we still have some members who give once in a while a speech from the old one, whether it be an education module or they're just repeating, for example, CC number nine, because that, they want to do it. So we can just put that in there uh, for them. Uh, you can also have competition in other speeches. So if it, it doesn't really fit in there, oh, sorry, that's a duplicate, doesn't really fit in there, uh, you, can, you can do that too. And let me just go back, Adam. So if I choose competition and other speeches, then you can put in, choose different things in here. Let's just do a non-manual. And you don't have to put in the speech title right away. It can be added later on. And if I am a just a regular user. And where am I? Oh, sorry, here it is. Request the speech. So if I'm a regular user, again, you get the same similar screen so that you can request the speech and also put in the date. Same thing for roles? They can re re request a role? Uh, no, you don't request a role. You actually just sign up for it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And go back to oh, not the club. Uh -huh. Officer view. I'm always in officer view. <laughs> All right. Next, I have my other screen. Okay, let's go over the meeting agenda here. So that's that's a big, I found from before that was a big uh, time saver. So when you want to do an agenda, when you're ready to do an agenda, let me just make myself, this is what you do to create your agenda. You click on the agenda button. It creates the agenda for you. I, what I usually do is I copy and paste it into a Word document. And then here you can, you can uh, manually change this. 
if you need to, let, let's say it's, I don't know, it's not myself, it's going to be Gabrielle. We don't see your screen change, oh, sorry. Sheila. Oh, sorry. That's you okay. It. Okay. Uh, let me do that again. There it is. Okay. Thank you. So you can, this was my name here. So you can, what I usually do is copy and paste it into a Word document. If there are last minute changes, I usually don't do it in easy speak. I just, I just change it on the, on the actual Word document itself. And then I can, well, at the time pre-COVID, we were printing out the agenda or you can make it a PDF so that you can upload it when you're doing your Zoom meeting. Okay, I'm a little puzzled here. Why are you uh, doing this um, cutting and pasting into a Word document. Why are you doing that? Okay, so here, uh, let me just. Uh -huh. Easy speak. Where's my easy speak? So this one here, when I press on the agenda button, it just opens up a window. You can print it from there, but I, oh. I personally just because I, I like to save the agendas for whatever reason, because people never go to, they don't either, they, they don't go to easy speak or when I need to upload it into Zoom, this is where we get the agenda from. Upload it into Zoom. Yes. How do you do, do you have online Zoom meetings for Toastmasters for your club? Uh, we use the free Toast Toast. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can share this screen too, also, if you wanted to, but yeah. I don't want to, you know, when you're in a Zoom, well, at least our club, when we're in a Zoom meeting, we don't want to have this on, this shared the whole time, right? We want to see the speaker or whoever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you can share it too. You can do it that way, but that's how how we do it. We, uh, we, print, we print it to a PDF and then we share it through Zoom, through chat. Okay. May I make a comment? You can do the same thing with three free toast hosts. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. But so you just can't send a visitor to free toast host to look at the agenda there. Right. But you can save it as a PDF or save it as a Word document and drop it into chat. It's right. not a problem. Yeah. They both okay. work the same way, like for that. Okay. Perfect. So you can also, for example, let's say there's only going to be one speaker and before you want to set the final agenda, you can also delete these items so that they don't show up on the agenda. And what it will also do will recalculate the time. Hmm. Okay, so you just click on this little thing that says uh, edit agenda. Mm -hmm. And so this is where you can edit the agenda, you can even move your little, um, what do you call those things, items to different sections in your agenda. Mm -hmm. Now, normally, you wouldn't have to do this every single meeting, it would be usually always the same. Okay, it's only for special, I don't know. Like I said, if, if you only had, you normally have three speeches, but you only have one, so you want to take out the, those two speeches, you would just delete them. But it wouldn't affect the next meetings, right? Because this is a template that each, meet, that each meeting is set up using. And then okay. you can customize later on if you really need to. Could you show me how you put the person's speech in, like their, what their pathway speech in? Yeah, sure. Does it have the inter Does it have the integration with Toastmasters International pathways? No. Yeah, no, unfortunately, oh, okay. it doesn't. doesn't have that. Okay. Yeah. Does Free Toast Host have it? Yeah, it, oh. it has that. Yeah. Ah, that's a good. Yeah, thing. in the actual agenda, you pick the person's speech, mm -hmm. and it it puts in automatically not only the length of the person's speech, but the purpose of the speech is uh, just a click away from the agenda, from the electronic copy of the agenda. And it even gives you the evaluation form as well. Yeah. For the evaluator. Yeah. We, we do have it here on the speeches where you can have the, it will print it like, like that's the, but you know, you can print the evalu, uh, sorry, the, objectives of the speech but we yeah. we don't do that like we we're trying to like 
compress the agenda, but you can add those things on there. Okay. Yeah. But I like that liaison with uh, Toastmasters.org because for sure here, no. So let's say somebody finishes their path, then you have to physically or physically, you have to go to the Toastmasters.org site and input it there. So it's not. Oh, automatic. I see what you mean. No, no, no. Oh, that's not what you're Most saying. Most host doesn't do that either. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it, it just, it should be able to do it. It just doesn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's got the hooks there. It's just that nobody has actually pushed the right buttons yet to make it work. Yeah. Right yeah. now, we still got to do the two process, the two step okay. process, which All should right. be a one step process. Okay. To actually get it registered. Okay. okay. So I misunderstood. I thought that was. Uh, no, the part I meant, though, is that in the actual agenda, you can look up exactly what the person's speech is and it'll tell, it'll automatically put into the agenda how long it is, for example. Yeah, yep. and it'll that put has up that the, there. Where? Yeah, it, here, I'll go back to the agenda here. Okay. Do you guys see this? The agenda? Yeah, no. okay, I've seen the agenda, yeah. Yeah, so here it tells you it's a five to seven minute speech. Did the, who put that in though? That's automatic. When you set up the, the template, yeah, you can do that. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. So that so you select the actual speech through the template as well, and yeah. it populates it with all the information the person needs, like the time, for example. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like uh, when you're requesting a speech. So did I you should know that? I thought I did. <laughs> did okay. you see this before? They're requesting the speech. Oh, the okay. Yeah, go ahead and do yeah. that because I must be. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, they have all the pathways there, and uh, like okay, if I'm, that's, I'm is that in, all the paths? Uh, that's just the paths. How about the individual speeches, though? Oh yeah, that will be in there. So let me just choose. Um, okay. Choose one for innovative planning, and then if I choose, I'm going to do uh, this guy present a proposal. You see, it's five to seven minutes. If you click on the question mark, you see the objectives. Oh, perfect. It is yeah. in there then. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And okay. like I said, um, we, for our club, we don't, you can put it on the agenda, but we don't print it just to save space. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sheila, I just found yeah. something online that I posted as well. It's a, it's a high level comparison chart for free toast host. No, oh, easy speak. I just dropped it in the chat. Perfect. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Perfect. No worries. Yeah, I, I had no idea the, the other one did that until this year. <laughs> Somebody mentioned that. And, and then I, I found out that I guess you can say I'm very, very, being very generalized. A lot of the Montreal people use the easy speak. And I found out a lot of the Ottawa people were always using the free Toast host. This also has a lot of tracking, if you want to call it club charts. So we have goals, meaning individual users can set goals for themselves. Ah, for example, excellent. I want to finish my innovation, innovative planning pathways in December 2021. We have a pathways chart. So you can see everyone in your club and see where they are in regards to their pathways. So every time you request a speech, it will come up here. So the ones in the blue are not completed yet. And of course, the ones in the check mark have already been completed. Now, that is interesting. That is very nice. That's, that's, I don't see that. I don't believe that's in Free Toast Host. Hmm. Okay. And then we still have the old one also, the, the legacy program, because that's what in 2011 and up till I think I guess it was 2018, 19. That's what we're using. So that's all there still. Leadership chart. Again, we were using this with the legacy program when we're fi finishing all our CL projects. So it's an easy way to track them and find out, okay, yeah, I haven't done this yet, or this person hasn't done this yet. So we're going to have them be the Toastmaster or the one who's going to run the open house. Then we have roles by meeting. So you can find out 
who's hogging all the roles or who hasn't taken any <laughs> roles. And you can mm -hmm. change change these, right? So you can, oh, I didn't know you could go minus 40. <laughs> or you can just do it by, OK, perfect. Uh, what was the other one? Roles by member, roles by meeting. Here's another one, too. You can have mentors. So you can put all the mentors in here and then Put all the oh, put all the people who who have who are their mentees. So if you if you have a very active mentorship program, you can use Easy Speak to track all that. In our club, in Speak with Style, we actually have a separate VP mentorship, an unofficial mem uh, unofficial role, executive role, and that person's responsible for the mentorship program. Excellent idea. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It's a problem, though, when you've got a small club, you have enough trouble filling the roles already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can do one or more roles. That's no problem. I do that with my other club. <laughs> I'm doing four roles. Oh, year. my. OK. And then there's another aspect. Where is it here? Uh, oh, my gosh. I lost it. Oh, OK. So communication. You can send out an email to everyone. Let's say you were going to promote, uh, for example, CN Collaborators on March 1st is going to have Richard Peck give a, a speech at their club. And you want to send an email to all your members. You can type it here and, and send it to them. And you can also add a, a link to the next meeting. Uh, it's already by default that it only sends to a member. And then there's all these other different categories of quote unquote members, but I will show you that afterwards. I've never used the label maker, by the way. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. And then here's another thing my clubs have, we haven't personally used, but I, if you're interested in doing that, you can have a survey. So this is already pre-done in, in Easy Speak, and you can send it to your members. And so I guess you can find do an annual or a quarter survey about uh, their goals and interests in the club and Toastmasters. It's pretty uh, extensive. Uh, let's go back here. So another thing about uh, the meetings is you can send an email as the VP Ed, for example. You can send an email to your members to remind them to sign up for roles. So they have like one and then two through five. So you can write your own, this is already automatic, but you can write your own information there and send them an email saying, sign up for the meeting. This is the, we need a GE, we need a Toastmaster and we need a speech evaluator. So it will send them an email in regards to that. There is also automatic role assignment my club doesn't use them, but you can do that too. I'm just going to show you about the users. So here right now, we're just sh showing uh, the actual users in our club. We, have, we use this paid until, so we can keep track of everyone for until, you know, when their membership will end. And I'm just going to go down to myself, edit. So you can put their Toastmaster awards on here. Um, the thing about the club. So here you can have different statuses of members. So we have the member, guest speaker, special guest, visitors. There's a whole bunch of them that are here. So we can, for example, 
in 2014, Speak with Style had their 10th anniversary. So we use this email database to get people to come to our anniversary party. Now, the, the only problem with that is, I guess, is if someone's no longer a member of your club and they change their email, and they don't, mm. obviously, they don't go to Easy Speak on a regular basis to update it, then it may come back invalid. But at least you have your old, you know, you have a record of your old members who came to, who were members before. Mm. Okay. Uh, what time is it now? All right. I'm going to show you the quote unquote back end of Easy Speak. So we're going to go to this co club control panel. So if you make changes here, you could be doing some damage to easy speak. But if you're comfortable, once you start using it, then you can, you can go here. But these changes in the back end of easy speak, usually you don't do it all the time. You just set it up when you first get there and then that's it. So for example, club officers, you can add in different club officers. Like I said, we have uh, a VP, I call it a VP mentor, member, mentorship, but it's actually called VP leadership. So you can add any kind of executive role that you've created in your own club. Mm -hmm. Okay, club setup. So we have speak with style, you can put in your district, all that stuff can be printed on the agenda. We're just going to go into it. So you can put in your Facebook page if you have one. You have LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Google Plus account, Meetup account. Oh, we have Meetup. I'm going to put ours in. So you can put all that information in there. You can choose an image. We have just the standard Toastmasters image. In the meetings here, you can put in your locations uh, when they meet. All those things will get printed on the agenda. Uh, I don't know if you remember on the agenda, we, we put in our website and the membership fee. We put all that information here. It's always on there every time. So we don't have to keep on putting it manually. In our meetings, we also have awards where we vote for, for example, the best speaker, the best table topics, the best evaluator. So you can also put all those in there in your agenda. Now, for remember when I said you can import members or import speeches from before? So these are the tools to do it. And they have a whole bunch of, well, Easy Speak is available in other languages, so you can put it based on if somebody joins your club and they've had the, they were also part of the legacy communication program and they would want to put their history in Easy Speak, so you can import it via this tool and it uses Excel to do this. So it, it's, if you're familiar with Excel, it's fairly easy to do. And then in regards to members, as I, I came in when they started using easy speak so i don't know what they did for members but you can if you already have a, a membership file well, it's a csv file then you can just import it into there instead of creating everyone one by one does anyone have any questions in regards to this part did someone create a Easy Speak account right now? Or no? No, I've been following along in one that I'm part of for one of my other groups. Okay. They don't use it actively, but it's been interesting to see what we can do because I'm definitely going to create one for our group. Yeah. I think the agenda management, it simplifies that we're using Excel right now. Right. So you're in Easy Speak, Rebecca, already? I'm in Easy Speak, yes. Not for my the club that I'm a VP Ed one, but the corporate club that I'm at. Okay. They Perfect. use 
easy speak. Okay, so I'm inviting Rebecca to speak at my club, Speak with Style, oh. on Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> and I want to add her to the agenda. So one of the first things I'm going to ask her is, oh, Rebecca, do you have an easy speak account? And she's going to say yes or no. Yes? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to, me as the VPA, and I'm going to go and find her and sign her up as a special guest so that she can be on our agenda automatically. So what... Can people see? No, not yet. I stopped the share. Let's go back. <clears throat> so I'm going to go and look for Rebecca. So I'm going to go and do a user search. Rebecca. I could put in her whole name or I can do part of it. So I can go and look for her. Rebecca, Rebecca, where are you? There's a lot of you guys. There is. Oh, uh, <laughs> Did I see? I see. No. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of you. <laughs> Try Rebecca M. <laughs> yeah. M A C. What's your last? Oh, there I am. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I am going to select her. I'm going to say yes. Oh, yeah. Some, some people yeah, put that's the photos. Me. That's her. Excellent. So I'm going to take a copy of her username. I'm going to go to my meeting. Uh, oh, sorry. That's not really what I'm going to do, but <laughs> I'm going to go to user list. And then I'm going to add her to my club. I'm going to use her username. I Don't worry about that. I'm going to connect with her. And so if I go here, Back to, I'm, I should be able to see her on another visitor. So I can confirm her attendance into my club. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah. And then she's there. If I actually, I should have made her a special guest because then I could have her be as a role or sign up as a speaker. So for example, if she had a speech, it would be recorded in her, under her profile that she did a speech outside of her club. Now, should I get a notification somewhere for this? Uh, I don't know if you get it as a visitor, but probably if you were a speaker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I just refreshed because I thought I wonder if something would pop up somewhere that says confirm your attendance or. Mm -hmm. Well, your attendance is already confirmed because I did it for you. <laughs> 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 so hint, hint, Rebecca, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Does anybody have any questions in regards to Easy Speak and managing it? I just did a little one on one, uh, one on one, one on one here. Gabriel, anything to offer since you use it also? Okay. So, what's the purpose? Is it for VP ads or users? It's not the same thing at all. Right. Because it's you both. A lot of things that are for VP ads that you yes. will never use. It's both. What I said in the beginning, I was showing you the the admin or the VP ed view. You can also go to the profile uh, regular member view, but this but is this is I, for both. Because I read something in the chat earlier, which mm -hmm. which was saying that it's more complicated than the free toast host. It depends on what you're doing with free toast host. Because if you're a simple user with Easy Speak, it's diff it's way easy. I mean, it's uh, there's you simply have to select if you are um, attending or not, and you simply have to select if you want to take a role or not, and you you can ask also to make a speech, and that's it. That that's what you're doing with uh, Easy Speak if you're right. a simple user. But then if you are a VP ed, then you can. Um, there are many interesting things to do that. Uh, one of them, we didn't have the time to, to see it, but you can manage, not manage, but you can do a follow-up of the uh, progress of each member. And she, uh, Sheila partly showed it, but it's interesting because you can see uh, where the, everyone is, is uh, in their own path and all mm -hmm. that. So this, this is something that you can use. Also the tool to, to see that enables you to see where the, the roles that you did in the past weeks, you can use it to, um, to do some kind of follow-up as a VP ed with the members to suggest that they can make a different role. 
So you can you can use it. Um, exactly. You, you, you know, you have all those small tools that you can use as a VPN. That's just, it's really nice. I'm not sure if you have it uh, with ED, um, with the free tools host. And also, if you want to, um, I, on my side, I like to have many agendas. So I have a, an agenda for th uh, two speech, two speeches, three speeches, or one speeches plus a workshop, or one one workshop alone, or a you know a, some a, a special event like uh, improv or a whole a whole meeting or something like, or even a a, a contest a, agenda. Yes, a contest agenda also, and you you can have different contest agendas, and this, that's that's interesting because you don't have to to change little things every time. You see, you select the 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 you select the the agenda, you select the type that you need, and that's it. So that that's interesting. And once it's done, then it's done for good. So you don't have to to uh, to go back and you remake an agenda and all that. So it's um, that's interesting. <laughs> you have many features but <laughs> well i can say with toast host we have a record of uh, whatever role you've done in speeches since the beginning of your journey as a toastmaster and we can make individual templates as well okay yeah so what you're doing uh, is great because i do the same and then when i need a contest uh, a template then i pull that up but we have uh, quite a few, I think, similar. But I think what I, I enjoy most about Toast Host is because we do have the project description as well as the evaluation right there. So whoever is going to be your evaluator, if he, he or she doesn't receive the evaluation from the speaker, they can go get it themselves. You know, and we do, uh, well, being VP of Ed, I myself, I do the follow-up for everyone and, you know, Basecamp manager has all that information too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Exactly. I guess it's what you're, you have some things that I don't think we have, but it's, I guess it's just what your preference would be, what you're mm -hmm. more, you know, what is easier for you to manage. Does free toast hosts have different languages also? Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Cause like, for example, Eloquencia, my French club, we, you, we use it in French. Okay. Like we, you can change the language so that the interface is in French and then all the roles okay. will be automatically. Okay, but are you a bilingual club? No. No. English? My speak with style is English. My eloquentia is French. Okay. We are an English club at, at Beaconsfield, but mm -hmm. if anyone wants to do a speech in French, uh, Italian, German, there's no issue because we have members that can do the evaluations. Oh yeah, no, no, I just meant in the interface. Uh, no, I don't, I'd have to check that out. I don't think mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was but, that good for you, Sharon? Were you able to follow along? Well, I, I was interested because I didn't know what it was about. Right. But I, uh, we've always used um, the other system because that's the way the club was set up when it was yep. first set up. Exactly. And I've only been in Toastmasters since 2016. So I don't know anything. I, I wanted to know what Easy Speak was. And I think that I'm so used to the other. It's it's a piece of cake for me. I joined yeah. I joined another club that didn't have anything. They were doing a, a manual type. And agenda. you told them to use free no, Toast Host? I said to them, would you? I said, now that you have a website, I said, and now that, now that the president has put us on to... Um, TLI. Yeah. I said, would you like me to do a, a an agenda for you? And what I did is I made up an agenda, the way they like their their stuff to go, and then I just pressed plus and just made more and more and more. <laughs> it's, it's so easy because I don't have to do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was quite interested in knowing exactly what Speakeasy was. Easy speak. <laughs> Easy speak, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's exactly I, like my other, my first um, French club that I joined, Leaders on Action. They were doing everything pen and paper. And I said, oh my gosh, you guys have oh, to change. And we well, implemented Easy Speak. Yeah, well, you see, the second club is a small town, mm -hmm. Toastmasters Club. And oh, very younger type Toastmasters who didn't know too much about 
TLI and the things that are going on. They knew when there was meetings, but, you know, they didn't know all those things. And of course, just me having an extra year on them meant that I could help them along. And they both said, oh, you're such a seasoned Toastmaster. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> I've only been with Toastmasters since 2016. But I'm a writer, so I'm always interested in all types of things that have to do with writing and forming things and doing, you know, charts and all that. Excellent. Okay, I see we're at the end of our workshop. If anyone has any last minute questions or comments, I can, some of you already have my email, but I'll put it in the chat. You can send me some questions about EasySpeak if you want. I'm also on social media. You can get me there.